Okay, today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a faulty thermostat. If your unit's not turning on and you already went through, uh, you might want to watch my five most common problems with air conditioners. There are five, yeah, five most common problems with air conditioners first. You get an idea, but if you already went through those things and nothing's turning on, you turn your unit on. What you want to do is first, you switch this to off, and then you try turning the fan on. Nothing turns on. Of course, check your breakers first, your AC and your fan breaker. Check your service door switch. But if nothing turns on, then it can either be your thermostat, it's not making the contact, or it can be the, the transformer. If it turns on, then you know that your, your transformer is okay, but if you're not getting cooling, then it could be the condenser side. Anyway, if nothing turns on, like so, what we need to do is troubleshoot the thermostat. And an, another cause could be if you show a low battery or L-O-B-A-T-T -T on the screen here, low battery, that can cause the unit to not turn on. But uh, beyond that, we'll take the top off here. And I've kind of labeled the wires because I was worried that it might not show up on my camera that well. But uh, we've got G, Y, W, R, C. That's uh, red, cool, R, H, red, hot. O and B. O and B are for reversing valves for a heat pump situation. If you have a heat pump, that those control the reversing valves. So that doesn't concern me here, but it might concern you if you have a heat pump. Anyway, the red hot or the red cool, this is your hot. This is your low voltage power. This is all low voltage power. Now, if you see a C on this, that's high voltage or regular voltage 110. You don't want to touch that and you definitely don't want to jump from the C to anything else. That's your common. Anyway, for this one, this is red hot and red cool. And you can see there's often a jumper wire between red hot and red cool so that there's power to both of those, those wires there. So that's where your power comes in. Next is what the power is going to, okay? The G, my wire is blue. So you may see some difference in wiring colors. This wire is usually green for the fan. So the G is for the fan. And the Y is for the condenser. It's the air conditioner outside. And the W is for your heater. Uh, I have hydronic heating. So when there's a link between the red hot and the, and the W, and then the, the, uh, the zone valve will open up for the heater. So and here when there's a link between red hot and G uh, then the fan will turn on and I'll show you that here I have made a little jumper wire here this is going to be my what we'll do is we're jumping from either RC or, or RH and we're gonna jump we're gonna jump to the G and that should turn the fan blower on hear it there Now if we jump from you know either RC or RH, again both of those wires are connected by the jumper wire, so it's like touching the same wire to the G, the blower will turn on. And you can hear the, the blower just kicked on. Okay. And if we jump to from the RH to the Y, the condenser on the roof will kick on. Now you actually need to jump from both the R and the G and the Y if you want the indoor blower to turn on and the condenser outside to turn on. But if you were just troubleshooting whether your thermostat was faulty and causing something to not turn on, this would be the way that you could do it. You can jump from the red hot to the yellow and now the unit on the roof just kicked on. Mine are on the roof. Yours might be outside and that'll kick just that portion of the system on. If you're wanting to test both of them, you can either use two separate jumper wires or you can make like I kind of made a uh, jumper here to try to do that. Maybe not the best rig in the world. It's a little bit easier if you have alligator clips or whatnot. I'm going to squeeze this closer together. Let's see if I can get this to work here. Anyway, here we go. So I got all three of them. Jumpered them all. So now the fan's on and the uh, the condenser outside is on. Everything's on. Okay. Again, this is low voltage and that's showing that everything works here. Now if my units weren't turning on when I did my normal 
turning on the thermostat, that would demonstrate that it's my thermostat that's causing it. Now if they weren't turning on, obviously something else is going on. When you're jumping from the red, you know, the R to the, the yellow, the Y, that'll pull the contactor in on the roof. And so that would be the next thing to check for the condenser if the condenser wasn't turning on. Would be to make sure that when you turned it on, the contactor sucked in. Uh, from here, if the contactor did not suck in, it could possibly be the relay, but it also would most likely be the contactor itself. If your fan did turn on, then most likely your relay and your thermostat and your transformer inside the unit at the blower is just fine. For your heater, if you were testing for jumping the heater, you just go RH to W and that would turn the heater on. For my system, that's just opening the zone valve, which I'll show you here, right here. And, and you'll hear it when it turns on, this little, little motor in the zone valve will kick on and it'll move over as it'll apply voltage to these, this line, these lines right here and turn the re reversing valve the other way to allow hot water to flow through the coils and bring in the heat. That's for hydronic heating. If your heater is different than that, then obviously it's going to operate differently. But again, the, the switch when you're turning your heater on is jumping from RH to W and RH to G to turn the fan on and turn the heater on. Anyway, that's a bit about the troubleshooting the thermostat. Again, one thing you should definitely know if you see a C terminal that's common and that's hot and that's going to be 110 voltage and it can kill you. It's lethal. This one's low voltage so it's a little bit easier to work on, a little bit safer to operate. Again, you should be careful here also because you never want electricity to cross the path of your heart. Even low voltage can kill. It usually you know, it doesn't, but but it can. So you need to understand the potentials there. Anyway, hope that helps out there. That's how to troubleshoot your typical air conditioner thermostat. And the purpose of that common wire with the 120 voltage is so that you don't need batteries here. It keeps voltage at the unit, so maybe it's draw, drawing power just like your normal plug would be uh, to keep power here. Again, most of them have gone with thermostats. You know, having battery backups. If you ever need to change the batteries, you can pop it off right here, replace the batteries um, back here on the thermostat. Another thing to look for, if your heater's not turning on, check this jumper switch right here. I don't know if my camera's going to focus on it, but right here it says gas and electricity. This little jumper switch, you can pull this slide off. I'll try to show you here. If you needed to, you can pull the jumper off. You can pull the jumper off and put it on over the next position. So now it'd be set up for gas. Mine is set up on the electrical side for my hydronic units. Anyway, that's that's that story. If uh, the heater wasn't working, it's one thing to check with the thermostat. So just a quick recap. You'll want to try turning just your fan to on first. If that turns on, you know that your relay is good and you know that your transformer is good and you can continue troubleshooting. Next, you'll want to go ahead and try your coolant auto and drop your temperature down. This one, the set temperature was already down. With this particular thermostat, a lot of times I'm using the, using the hold button to keep it at the correct temperature. Anyway, if everything turned on from there, you're good, but if, if things weren't turning on, if, not, if the condenser outside wasn't turning on and you thought it might be the thermostat, this is how you could test it by jumping, as I showed you, jumping the RH or the RC to the Y and the G to see if the condenser and the indoor blower motor will turn on uh, at the same time. And you can use uh, like alligator clips on the end of wires, like two wires, and then you can just clip them that way. And uh, that way you can actually go outside and look and see if, you're, if the coil is sucked in.